Good morning. Today is Wednesday, January 19th, 2022. In market news, as of this recording, the gold price is at $1,811.90. Silver price is at $23.52. The WTI crude oil is at $86.14. Bitcoin is hovering around $42,320, and Ethereum is bouncing around $3,158. In entertainment news, Jody Sweden celebrates her 39th birthday today, Dolly Parton turns 75, and Sean Waynes will celebrate his 50th birthday. Grammy Awards move ceremony to Las Vegas site in early April. The 2022 Grammy Awards will shift to an April show in Las Vegas after recently postponing the ceremony due to rising COVID-19 cases. In general news, Judge signs plan resolving Puerto Rico bankruptcy battle. Puerto Rico's nearly five-year bankruptcy battle is ending after a federal judge signed a plan that slashes the U.S. territory's public debt load as part of a restructuring and allows the government to start repaying creditors. U.S. plans $50 billion wildfire fight where forest meets civilization. The Biden administration said it will significantly expand efforts to stave off catastrophic wildfires that have torched areas of the U.S. West by more aggressively thinning forests around hot spots where nature and neighborhoods collide. Boris Johnson is under fire while denying lying about lockdown parties. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson denied misleading Parliament about lockdown breaching parties and confirmed he has given an account of events to an inquiry probing alleged violations of coronavirus rules by the government. U.S. examining Alibaba's cloud unit for national security risks. The Biden administration is reviewing e-commerce giant Alibaba's cloud business to determine whether it posed a risk to U.S. national security as the government ramps up scrutiny of Chinese technology companies dealing with U.S. firms. In sports news, Dallas's Ferreras first father-son designated players in MLS. Jesus Ferreira joined his dad David as the first father-son combination of higher-priced designated players in the history of Major League Soccer, agreeing to a four-year contract with Dallas. Athletes warned against speaking up on human rights at Beijing Games. Athletes traveling to next month's Beijing Olympics were warned about speaking up on human right issues while in China for their own safety by speakers at a seminar hosted by Human Rights Watch. And in random news, a tortoise was declared oldest ever at 190 or more years old. A tortoise previously declared the world's oldest living land animal by Guinness World Records, has been awarded a second title, the oldest tortoise ever. Jonathan, a tortoise that lives in St. Helena, a British overseas territory in the Atlantic Ocean, is believed to be at least 190 years old, as the animal was fully mature at at least 50 years old when he arrived on St. Helena in 1882. That's all for today's morning news. Thanks for listening.